Sunshine State. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. Tackle at the 19. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Passes and it's almost picked off. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From their own 19-yard line, second down. He's under some heat. Jakes off a tackle, and he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And that was a really well-played series by the defense. O'Donnell is the putter. He makes it out to midfield. Not a bad return. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. out to his receiver he gets hit out of bounds around the 43 yard line second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down just blows this one away brad i just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions and especially when the defense starts to get pressure you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it out of bounds at the 40 yard line they chose to throw the ball here on third and short and it proved effective as the little dump pass got them a new set of downs from the 40 yard line first down And they push him out right around the 36-yard line. And he can't get away from the pressure. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. And here's another third down. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Florida State's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. He's pushed out of bounds around the 27-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good enough to pick up the first down. And that shows you why he's such a weapon as a ball carrier. Good gain for the offense. He's on the run, and they got him. 
Boy, this defense is doing a great job of bringing pressure. That time they brought a blitz and allowed the defensive line to break loose and get to the quarterback. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Just throws this one away. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. Green is back to receive. Green takes it at the 32, and he's tackled the 39-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Complete, he's hit right away. That brings him second and five. From their own 43 yard line, it's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really nice read. the 39 yard line from the 39 yard line it's first down and he's tackled at the 26 yard line first down 10 yards to go ball on the 13 there are five wide receivers split out the quarterback in the gun guys I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here throwing down first and second down to keep the defense guessing they come out in a goal line set Touchdown, Seminole. Don't get too excited at home, folks, because I think this one is coming back. Here it is. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And he converts the extra point. So a seven-play, 62-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 7-0. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Seminoles are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Here's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down to the 36-yard line. Eight-yard gain on the pass. That'll be good enough for the first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll bring up second and three. Mike 22, he's coming, 22, he's coming, Mike, Mike. 
Nice run there. Yeah, carries the ball. Call it a game of seven two yards. Times, two times. That and makes it first and ten. ten. Back 22, back 22. They try to get a head start there. Ball start offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He's looking for his man. He can't hang on. Incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Once it all, going deep. And he makes a catch. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown? Well, they've got to regroup. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 81-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Nice kick, plenty of distance. O'Donnell, ready to kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. These corners are showing that they're not afraid to come up and make a hit. Even if they aren't playing pass, they know how to disrupt the play. We played one. We're even at seven in this one. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. strike and he can't pull it in from their own 16 yard line third down and he's going to be sacked for a loss that makes it fourth and long Coley awaiting the return. And down he goes at the 42 yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. This one's going deep to the end zone. He brings it down. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Miami kicked this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He guns it right side. And that's his receiver who's wide open. 
the 10. Touchdown, Florida State. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Now he's scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. So the sack makes this a second and long. Throws a strike over the middle. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. There's a strike complete. Tackle around the 36-yard line. Call the game at nine yards. Man left, man left. First down. Four down, four down. I got one, I got one, I got one. I can't do it, guys. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Call the game at six yards. Right left, right That'll make it second and four. Four down. Back 22, back 22. Ready and hot. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Loss of a yard. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. A loss of about six. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Green, back to return it. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. the 40. Third down. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Up the middle for a nice game. They come out on an empty backfield. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Waits. I love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in and just the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Fourth down. 
80. Looking to knock one inside the 20 here on this punt. He punts. No, he won't. And it's incomplete. And they'll fail on fourth down. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Dumps it complete over the middle. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. He throws right. First man incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guys' hands. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. And they got it. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down in the open field. Second down and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. football we're deadlocked right now at 14 well Reese and David I know you're jealous this is the kind of games you guys like to do but that's Thursday night this is the big show it's fielded at the two and he makes it out to about the 21 yard line Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Taken down at the 27. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes around the 42-yard line. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. Now it's 
first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. tailback on the screen. Freeman gains about four yards there. Third down and they need to get it down to the 32. Point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. He's under some heat. They bring him down. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. That one sailed on it. He wanted his receiver, but I think that may have slipped out of his hands. From their own 44-yard line, second down. There's a strike complete. He's down. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. That makes it first and 10. Back 22, back 22. Throws out and through his hands. From the 45 yard line, it's second down. Strike to his receiver, no good. field. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. That's a game of six on the play. Third down. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Help! He fights forward to about the 26. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere.
Coley is back to receive. He makes it to the 42-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Gains his way to midfield. That's good for a game of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. And he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. Little handoff. Nice run, and he's brought down. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. That makes us three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. On play action. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. So at the end of the third quarter, 14 apiece. But we're all tied up now as we head to the all-important fourth quarter. it out to about the five-yard line. Here's a handoff, and he's brought down right away. That took a little too long to develop. And the offense was trying to get the pass rush going up field, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and it's good. And with that, all the pressure now shifts back to the other side. That's what a good kicker can do. Miami lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. They'll get him in the backfield. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Tackle after a decent pickup. That'll bring up third and six. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Fourth down. Beatty is waiting for the snap. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. 
This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Miami is up a field goal. Got some open field. Tackle at around the 48-yard line. That's a game of the game. That makes it second and two. Here he goes. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. First down. And they make the stop at the 26. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. Hits him hard at the 16. That's good for the game of 10 yards. That brings up second and nine. He fights forward to about the 16. And it looks like they're going to bring everyone in tight for this one. yard line fourth down they'll call on the field goal unit here the offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen but getting up to the linebackers that way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level and it sails through the uprights has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off he really got a hold of that kick he's to the 20 he's got the corner down the sideline and they finally bring him down at the 41-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under two minutes in the game. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 38-yard line. Defense has got it. Loss of four on the play. That makes it third and eleven. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the thirty-one. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Fourth and long here after the sack. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Makes the catch and look out. He's at the 30. And they push him out right around the 12 yard line. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play.
taken down. Right around the four-yard line. The Seminoles are going to call their second timeout. Under a minute left in the game. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And we're all tied up. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he tacks on the extra point. Aguayo ready to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. It's exciting. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 32. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He wants it all going long. Miami's going to take their first time out of the hat. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. Defense in their short yardage packet. They'll get him for a loss. Or give the defense all the credit here. And that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. So the kicker's on the field, and this kick is for the game. Kicks up. He got it. They win. It's really tough to truly appreciate how much pressure there is when you go out there for a kick with everything riding on your leg. Nobody in the stadium right now feels any better than this kid. This one's in the books, and our final score, 23-21, Miami. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Miami comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.